Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week three of Palace's Summer 2022 collection. Well, <laughs> we know what's coming out in this week, guys. We just covered it in the Streetwear Talk video. But yes, for week three of Palace's Summer 2022 collection, we are getting both collaborative and seasonal pieces. It's not just a full seasonal week like week two last week was. This week, we are getting a collaboration with Adidas. And I know as soon as you hear that, you're like, what whack ass shoes are we getting? <laughs> <laughs> well, no shoes this time. It is a capsule centered around nature, as they put it. And it features a lot of co-branding, a lot of outdoor wear uh, with Palace, Adidas branding, and a little bit of nature branding as well. Go check out the Streetwear Talk video if you want a full in-depth look at it. We are only going to be covering it quite briefly when we cover all the pieces that are releasing this week. Now, how we're going to cover the release details, the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the pieces is by using a Max Merch More Instagram post. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for week three. So here we are at the Instagram post that we'll be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out. Now, the release details for week three. Palace Summer 2022, week three, releasing in-store and online, Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 11 a.m. British Standard Time for the UK. It'll be releasing a day later on the Saturday, the 21st, because it's releasing on the 20th for most of the world, then the 21st for Japan and China. Uh, China will be getting it via the WeChat store and Japan will be getting it via the in-store and online options as well. 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time and Chinese Standard Time. Uh, if you guys have any further questions about uh, the drop for this, the release details, yada yada yada, drop them in that comment section below. Now, if you want to know the prices for the pieces, make sure to follow Max Merch More as on Thursday evening they are dropping the price list or the estimated price list. You know, going off past releases, past collabs, uh, and giving you a rough idea of how much these pieces are going to run you. So if you are looking to pick something up this week, I'd recommend staying tuned to their posts. Now, uh, we'll cover this page by page. So let's get into this first page here and start covering the first page of week three. Okay, to start it off with, we get the Palace Adidas Nature Pieces showcased to us. We get this huge brown jacket with co-branded stripes down the arms in different colors to match the zipper details and the drawstring details on the front of the piece. Uh, it features a mesh inliner uh, and it also comes with a matching pair of cargo pants. Well, we are getting a co-branded tee which features this branding on the back and nature with a little plant uh, on the back as well. Some branding there. If you guys want a further look, as I mentioned, go check out that streetwear talk video. We have a crew neck slash fleece jacket releasing this week. It's kind of a combination of both. It features pockets on the sides, a pocket on the front, co-branding on the front and back, and it has some matching fleece shorts as well. Uh, here is another photo or another color of the tee, and the tee also releases in a green. So the four colors it comes in is green, orange, blue, and the brown as well. Uh, the, the fits or the pieces look okay. I think it looks better when you wear it as a full ensemble. So the matching jacket with the matching pants. By themselves, they still work, but I think it works more like a uniform. It just looks better that way. Anyway, we also get some accessories uh, slash headwear for this uh, collaboration as well. We're getting this cap with this huge sun guard down the back here, as well as a backpack. All to make a full kit here for this brown jacket cargo pants, hat, and uh, backpack combo. I'm not feeling the collab so much. It's okay. It's nothing amazing. I'm not going to come back and remember this collab very fondly or come back and look at it thinking it's the most amazing thing that ever released with Palace and Adidas. It's all right. It's a couple pieces. It's okay. Um, maybe you feel differently. Let me know in that comment section below. But we'll move into the seasonal stuff now. We have the City's Jacquard jacket in the blue. This will probably be denim. It features an all-over print to it or an all-over jacquard detailing to it. 
comes in a blue and a couple other colors as well that we'll talk about on the second page. We are getting a Star Logo Trucker coming in the brown, purple, black, and pink. I think this is an awesome palace piece. It features their iconic Star Logo, which we've seen on multiple pieces. Uh, most recently, I think we saw it on a knit a couple years ago, which was just awesome. Uh, still on the hunt for that knit and the cream in an extra large. I think it was a knit at least. It, it was awesome. But uh, yes, I actually don't mind this. I like it in the brown. I like it in the black. The pink one's actually a bit of fun as well. The purple one's probably, I, I don't want to say the worst, but my least favorite color out of all of them. And it's still not that bad. It's still a really solid color, uh, color option here. Awesome trucker releasing this week. It's probably going to be my favorite piece on page one, but maybe you're really feeling the Adidas collab, so maybe that's speaking to you. But now that we've covered page one, let's move on to page two. Which we have the City's Jacquard jacket making a reappearance in the black, and it features a very nice lining by the looks of it on the inside as well. There's a more closer look at the all-over detailing that we have on it. We've got this bleached stripe t-shirt, which... Mm. Not very good on that. I'm not feeling that one at all. Uh, we've got matching trousers to match the uh, City Jacquard jacket. Uh, it coming in the exact same colors the jacket comes in. And then we get another color of the bleached stripe t-shirt, which I'm not feeling either color. <laughs> we can miss out on both. I'm very happy. I'd much rather cop the jacket or the pants from this page. That t-shirt is a big miss. Uh, my favorite piece on page two, even though there's not many, is probably going to go to the jacket. That purple looking lining on the inside looks very, very nice there. But uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the pieces on page two. We'll move on over now and have a look at page three. Moving into page three, we get a very, very nice, basically a cord pal hat in the navy, white, brown, and black. A very, very nice, simply branded palace hat with a nice bit of texture to it. Corduroy material adds a little bit more flavor to it than your standard canvas hat. Uh, I like it in a lot of the colors it's releasing in. The black looks nice, the white looks nice, the navy's really popping. I think this navy corduroy, I don't see it too often, but seeing it here, I like it. I wish we saw more navy cord. I wish we saw more corduroy in general. The only other piece releasing this week is the bleach striped t-shirt, but we can forget about it. <laughs> I. Will not remember that piece. This piece is worse than the Adidas collab. I would much rather be seen wearing the full Adidas collab than whatever the hell this thing is. I think that's just nasty. But uh, yeah, that is page three. My favorite piece is obviously the basically a cord hat, probably in either the black or the navy, but the navy is really speaking to me. Uh, and there is no page four from what I know. So yeah, only three pages. So not a huge week this week, but it's still over 10 pieces. So. A reasonably sized palace week for the summer collection. Uh, I think my favorite piece this week actually has to probably go to the headwear. It's either going to go to the Star Logo Trucker or the uh, basically Accord uh, Pal Hat. They're really nice hats releasing this week. The rest of the stuff, I mean, I don't mind the city's jacket and jeans. Oh, I shouldn't say jeans, but trousers. But they're not doing too much for me. I'd have to say the headwear is definitely the highlight of this week. The Adidas collab is like every other Adidas collab. It's either eh or pretty nasty. This one's just eh. <laughs> but maybe you feel very differently about it. Maybe you have different opinions on all the pieces that I just talked about here. Uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on week three or the Adidas collab down in that comment section below. But that is everything to be covered to do with week three of Palace's Summer 2022 collection. We covered the release details. It's releasing this Friday, the 20th of May, or the 21st if you live in Japan and or China. Uh, we covered all the individual seasonal pieces and collaborative pieces with Adidas. And we covered my thoughts and opinions on it. The week itself, the, uh, the weakest week so far, um, but week one and two were big hits, so a, a, a cool, easy week like this wasn't a huge surprise. You know, we had some pretty heavy hit, hitting weeks before, so yeah, maybe it was time for them to, to calm down. <laughs> uh, but the hats were very nice this week. Uh, I'm not going to be going for anything this week because I've recently bought some more, uh, more jewelry and that is on the way, as well as a varsity jacket, which as you guys saw, I live copped, so that's on the way as well. But uh, yeah, let me know if you're going for something. Are you going for the Adidas collab, the hats? What are you feeling from week three? 
let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace weeks, you got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of all, a subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned in previous uploads, we are trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3,335 subscribers. We are so close to hitting that subscriber milestone. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. That is everything I got to say about week three, guys. Good luck to all you guys out there looking to pick something up from week three. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Palace video, until the next Droplist video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.